The video that you're looking at is the wreck of the USS Lexington, a World War II U.S. aircraft carrier uh, that was lost during the Battle of the Coral Sea northeast of Australia on the 8th of May of 1942 uh, in a battle that started to change the course of World War II in the Pacific. It's a big discovery. Uh, we, we knew the ship was sunk. No one knew for sure uh, exactly where it was. The wreck was just recently found by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen with his uh, expedition ship, the Petrel. They have sophisticated sonar uh, and sophisticated you know, unmanned uh, submer submersible vehicles which uh, can go down to very great depths and can locate things with incredible precision and bring up very detailed photographs and, and other data. As the director of naval history, I'm kind of a kid in a candy store. The images were, to me, truly uh, moving, given the history that's associated with that particular ship. The Lexington was one of the very first U.S. aircraft carriers. Her loss in the Battle of the Coral Sea came as actually quite a shock. The Battle of the Coral Sea took place about 500 miles off the northeast coast of Australia. Uh, and it was the first battle of World War II in the Pacific where the Japanese were actually stopped from achieving their objectives. It was the first aircraft carrier versus aircraft carrier battle in the history of the world. Most of the crew of about 2,700 was actually saved from the sinking, uh, but over 200 were lost. The Lexington also lost about 35 aircraft. A number of airplanes went to the bottom with her, and those were clearly visible in the video and photographs from uh, Mr. Allen's uh, expedition. On the video, you're seeing different parts of the aircraft carrier, uh, some of her uh, weapons, some of the aircraft that were on board that either slid over the side or were blown over the side as she was in the last throes of sinking. And you can clearly see the name Lexington written on the stern of, of the ship. Every U.S. Navy ship that's lost in circumstances like that is a war grave. Uh, and the Navy never gives up title to those ships. But we do want to know what her condition is. Uh, and we can also learn a lot of detail from what actually happened in the battle as a result of the data that come from the expedition. For example, there are no Devastator torpedo bombers, uh, which was the primary U.S. torpedo bomber at the beginning of World War II, none of those survived the war. They were all either shot down, most of them, uh, or were scrapped. So the torpedo bombers, which Paul Allen's group has found, are in practically pristine condition. It's just an amazing find, to be honest.